Hey all, Hiba here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Elder Scrolls Castle. So uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, lots of content on this game coming. So in this video here I'll show you how to do basic combat. And uh, to be able to do that you need to first of all build a war table. Now I think you'll need to be level 10 to be able to do this. But uh, once you've done it you'll be able to send your uh, you know, staff into battle. So the war table allows you to go to the map, which is pretty much just a series of battles, really. So uh, here we're taking battle number two. So you can see the enemies uh, on the screen and also your party are at the bottom. And then you have your objectives on the right. And uh, the better you do, the more goodies you're going to make. So uh, let's just have a look at the, one of my guys here. Now, uh, you can equip them with uh, extra stuff like healings and potions and scrolls. Um, so for the here, we're just gonna get another scroll of revival just to you know be safe, but of course uh, much more uh, in-depth stuff to come. So let's have a look at the weapon equipped here. So I'm gonna change this one to a staff of fire bolt, right? And of course these are just super basic weapons at the moment because this is just a very basic tutorial, right? So I'm not gonna do anything uh, amazing here. And also I don't have any armor for this guy yet because uh, you have to craft that in your castle, right? So let's just check the other guy out, and uh, he's already got an iron sword, so that's all good. So we happen to have one weapon left over, and also one slot actually left over. So uh, instead of just having two guys in my party, I'm going to pick another person. Not the chef, we don't want him. We're going to pick some random guy here. This guy looks good. And I uh, just equip him with a weapon as well. Remember, you have to equip these guys with a weapon, uh, then you'll be able to use them. So uh, just click the done button and uh, you'll have your party ready. And then it's just a matter of clicking the start quest button and uh, you'll be taken to the uh, combat arena. Now, uh, you don't actually have to do anything here, at least in the beginning. Uh, some weapons like the fire totem, for example, that I equipped earlier, uh, you can actually uh, tap on at you know opportune times in the battle to make, sh to make use of their special powers. Uh, but for the time being, yeah, I wouldn't worry about it because you can get very far by just doing nothing. Because you can see the battle happens all by itself and uh, you'll slowly, you know, fight your way through wave after wave of enemies. So uh, that's really how the combat works in uh, Elder Scrolls Castles. And of course, uh, the further you progress in the game, the more advanced this stuff gets. You need to equip the right armor, the right weapons and the, the right magic uh, attached to the weapons for example so there's a lot of stuff to think about so uh, getting to the end of the road is obviously the uh, the, the goal and uh, that'll take a long time so uh, this is a this is a grindy game right so it's gonna have to accept that so anyway that's how uh, basic combat works in uh, Elder Scrolls castles so uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, don't forget to give me a subscribe a like and of course a comment if there's something you don't understand other than that, uh, I hope you enjoy the game and I'll see you out there.